Hello everybody and welcome to possibly two part um for this medical pavilion the announcements before we begin. I had to re-record this because when I was editing the first time's video, um the audio was just lagging. Uh hopefully with this latest OBS update, um that it will be fixed fingers crossed um but we're gonna try to get through as much as we can today um and hopefully in a good amount of time where i was stopping off last time because i know i won't be able to finish this in one go um i tried this like for a few hours and i was just tired so um there will be another part of it tomorrow also, don't forget, tomorrow morning, I am going to be doing a crest. Yeah, crest. I'm I'm blurring words right now, so I do apologize. But a Chris Reddingfield um, walkthrough for uh, Resident Evil over on Twitch, but it's going to be a speed run, meaning I will play it until I beat the game. Um, I know that some of the puzzles are pretty much the same, um, and... I've been able to kind of remember some of them, be like, yeah, I remember that. Oh, I remember that. So we're going to try. I don't think we'll beat the world record or anything like that, but it's good to challenge yourself a little bit. Um, Next, uh, next week, we are going to have more Bioshock videos. Um, I think we'll be getting closer to finishing it just because I've played this game before, both on OG and... um on uh remastered off stream so uh we're gonna try to uh get this done as quickly as possible but if you guys haven't checked out my discord definitely should uh that's where we vote on the next walkthrough and stuff like that and i show you guys how to play the game without the chaos of my community trying to thwart um all and any plans to beat games <laughs> um next uh if you guys are not checking out the D, D podcast or the youtube channel or for the podcast we're on spotify itunes and iHeartRadio. radio easy so if you're needing to find our episodes you know where to go um the D, &D group did not meet last weekend uh, and they're not meeting this weekend, so next weekend we'll have more episodes being made. But enjoy the Bioshock videos since we did finish the Fallout 4 main story and companions, which that's a long playlist, a lot of hours to kind of uh, watch. Um, also, we did the Fallout 4 railroad ending for one of our characters. We're going to get another character started. Um, and doing all the neutral quest stuff so that way we can get the, um, lack of a better word, all the companion perks again. So this will give me some time. Um, but we have right now, I think, in the polls lead, which if you guys are not in the Discord, that's the role I have for any community polls. But, um, as I am looking this up. Uh, we have four potential options. Uh, probably the next one, I I might like alternate between Discord and the YouTube channel, uh, doing the poll system, which is something I like to do when I'm getting closer to finishing a game, or I know I'm gonna finish it within a certain amount of videos for the following week. Um, but right now we have the votes for after the good ending, cause this is the good ending. Um. Fable the Good Hero ending, um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Mass Effect Legendary Edition on Hardest Difficulty, Paragon ending, and Bioshock 2 with the good ending. Um, and that will be a remastered playthrough, not um, the OG. So far, you guys are voting for Mass Effect Legendary Edition on the Hardest Walkthrough, um, Paragon ending. So, there is that. Um, Next, uh, don't forget, Legion 10 for Freshen Up Energy, very ketogenic product. My favorite has been so far Rest in Peach and Raven's Blood. 
very great flavors. Hope to keep trying some more. Um, and yeah, also finally to kind of end it all, uh, and get through my announcements, the, um, audio for the game, which is muted right now, does not have any music. So if you hear anything, it is a sound effect. I need the sound effects to be able to hear the game, uh, and know what is going on around my surroundings. So with that said, um, let us go ahead and continue with um, Bioshock Remastered. Sorry, I forgot to mute the TV. Let me just find All right. So we're in the foyer right now. There's a Vita chamber. We're kind of crouching because... Alright, so right now Atlas wants us to find the emergency access. However, in order to get to the emergency access and progress the story, you are going to be learning how to hack. Um, hacking in this game um, is different than Bioshock 2, or I think they even changed it, Bioshock Infinite. Um where it's not as simple as it looks um it's actually quite difficult uh and different in each game um hopefully they make it a little easier in four but each game they've changed it up to kind of throw people off i think because if you make it the same it like people are gonna get the hang of it um i think or something like that so it's kind of one of those games that it kind of keeps you on your toes. So we're not going to hack the robot just yet. A great way to kind of practice. Well, actually, we can't even do it on that. So we're going to hack the security bot. It's disabled. It's blocking the doorway where we need to go. All right. So I'm just going to kind of do something kind of easy. So with hacking you have all these um different buttons and you can press the like the start button on your xbox controller which is what i'm currently playing on or however you get this menu to pull up um but basically anything you don't know that's under like a hidden tile um you always want to reveal as much as you can um that's the number one i uh, i think tip that you can learn with hacking is making sure to reveal the hidden tiles while you're building because then you'll have an easier time to build. Straight, obviously, straight elbow is obviously self explanatory. Accelerator, these specific um, uh, tiles, like the resistor, are going to be like the straight tiles. They're never going to be an elbow, as far as I'm aware. I've never run across any elbows that were accelerators or resistors, but accelerators will increase the flow speed, um, avoid them if possible, but if you're trying to accelerate it because you're finished, um, there's a way to do that. Next, the resistors. You definitely want this, especially if you want more time to hack um, and not be rushed. Uh, you definitely want to use resistors. The two things you need to avoid are overloads, which will cause a short circuit and deliver massive damage that um, will be shocking, of course, but avoid them if possible, and they will make like building ahead more difficult, but not impossible. Alarms, avoid at all costs. Like, even if you have to take damage, taking damage over activating an alarm will be worth it. Um, because once you activate an alarm, you have to either pay money or hack and then pay lower cost money to stop the alarm or hide it until they give up, basically. So that is kind of the two big key things that you have to remember with hacking. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to kind of do this without it being so obviously they'll do a little tutorial, reveal the tiles, like find pipe segments by revealing hidden tiles. That's going to be big in this game. Pick up pipes and swap them with other pipes to create a connected line. Uh, that way you're not like, what's going on and kind of stuff like that. 
then you have to make a change to the exit pipe. It's not going to look clean or pretty like the example, but the example is kind of showing you it may look a little messy. It may not look perfect. The main goal is you need to guide the flow of metallic liquid to the exit pipe. Um, and this will allow you to have the desired effect for um, whatever you have. So, they keep it pretty simple for the most part. Um, just to make it kind of simpler. Um, they give you like a spare tile. So that way you're not like picking one up and then having to swap like that because that would be more difficult than it needs to be. And you see this, the, um, the liquid is pretty slow. And if you finish, you will be able to kind of pack. So we're going to just finish this. But now that you've packed one item, now you can hack another. So we're going to start hacking. We're going to be quick on this one. And we always just kind of want to stay one step ahead. Hacking, uh, for lack of a better word, hacking, uh, as I'm trying to think of the word, hacking, uh, Um, stores will be very helpful in the beginning because then you won't have to worry about paying full price. Um, so there is that. And your little turret will take care of the rest. And voila! Oh my god, this guy is... Hey, buddy. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I just wasted ammunition. I'm deactivating you for a moment. I promise you will be revived when I am ready to continue. There we go. So what I was going to do is I was going to pick up the Adam's changes. Uh, and we're gonna just listen to it really quick. Ryan and Adam. Adam and Ryan. All those years of study. Was I ever truly a surgeon before I met them? How we clicked away with our scalpels and toy morality. Yes, we could lop a boil here and shave down a peak there, but, but could we really change anything? No. But Adam gives us the means. from the phony ethics that held us back. Change your look, change your sex, change your race. It's yours to change. Nobody else is. So just to kind of elaborate when he's talking about like Adam and plasmids and stuff. So they were creating ways to change their appearance, change their gender, change their appearances and while plasmids in adam was like the new and cool thing that every kid wanted like the cool kids had um and, you know everybody wanting to be the cool kids um it was also part of the downfall for rapture uh and what kind of triggered the events for this game is the desire for adam um and how the little sisters fit into this, how the big daddies fit into this, how all of this was created. And while it's not particularly like good feelings, 
um, and might be trigger warning stuff, just in case you are like, well, this is a little too much for me, Lee, and I would understand and respect that, because this game even gets to me a little bit emotionally, um, especially with the second one. And, well, second and infinite, I should say. And, um, in a way, Plasmids and Adam was the downfall for Rapture. Like, there was nothing governing them or restricting them. That Like, this is kind of like, if there was no order, there's chaos. And we're living in chaos of Rapture. Um, where there is no restriction or really laws slash rules. Um, except for what? Uh, Andrew Ryan state because he's in charge of the place. So we are going to activate the little turret um, who's going to help us out with uh, everything bad and go from there. Got some ammunition. We're going to climb up the stairs. So once we flip this emergency access control, uh, we're going to have a lot of enemies coming at us from behind and in front of us. Um, so I always like to take care of the one that's behind this door so I can grab the um, next weapon. And then um, just kind of round here, just kind of like cover my back. Um with the door and then just go like left, right, left, right, kind of deal wherever they come from. So we're gonna go ahead and flip the switch. Access denied. Oh, jeez. Alright, so we can also choose an- okay, now we have to get the key from Simon, but before we do, there's going to be like a few things we have to do that's going to make it easier on all of us. So we got the machine gun, now we have the wrench and pistol. So we're going to flip the override switch. We're gonna look. Get into the medical pavilion. So. We're kind of covering ourselves and taking care of the ones that are in melee range. Ooh. I'm just trying to watch out from behind. Buy some of that. Oh boy. I don't feel like going up there just yet. 
So you want to go down here, grab the stuff that's down here. Ooh, what's that? We want money. Money, good. Money, good. Alright, we're gonna buy one more Eevee. We're gonna... Oh no! I didn't want that. Oh well. I tried. Oh wait, handbag. Of course. So we're gonna listen to this now. Um, but this will be talking about uh, the girlfriend of Andrew Ryan. Which, that is not the truth. That is far from the truth. Um, hey buddy. I'm just deactivating you for a moment. Um. Yeah. You're all bent out of shape. I don't like the sound of that clock. Music in this game makes it a lot less creepier, but we're trying to avoid any copyright. There we go. We're just gonna crouch. That's where the little sisters can go if you rescue them, I believe. No. You promised me pretty, Charlie. You promised me pretty. Now look at me. Look at me. Okay, I have to pause because I'm gonna reference this. Um, if you guys have not checked out um Simon Make Me Pretty, I think it's that's what it's called. Um, it just released, uh, on the 23rd of March, which I'm surprised they even took that long to get a song for him because it's like, I don't know. I, I just always, I, cause I was like, I want to like, look for something to listen to. And that was shown because I guess I was researching for this game to like make like aesthetic thumbnails and stuff like that funny enough um jt music and andrea storm hayden i believe is how they it's pronounced and if it's not pronounced that way please correct me um i i, I really hate when i butcher names but i was listening to the song and just kind of remembering why we don't like steinman and it's like you know he he has this obsession with making you know art like uh like painting and stuff like that and i'm just like i'm comfortable the way i am i don't need to look pretty i just need to feel amazing but you know like i was looking at that cosplay that the uh woman singer um had and i was like I want something like that as a cosplay idea, but yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, you should go check it out. It's kind of like amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Above all, do not do no harm. Jay Steinman. You know, wait. Higher standards. This is Steinman's little thing. Job is done. 
What about the fact that it's dangerous? We did not pick up cigarettes or alcohol. Both are bad. Alright, we got this. And see, you just gotta work with what's given. And now we can finish it. We're gonna hack, because we can. And it gives us good practice and a way to save money. Trying to be extra careful. Now we just have to kind of wait. Alright. Yeah, yeah, we know we got special ammo. Listen to this um, recording diary. On the surface, the parasite expects the doctor to heal them for free, the farmer to feed them out of charity. How little they differ from the pervert who prowls the streets looking for a victim he can ravish for his grotesque amusement. And again, that goes back to the first video we did, um, which is in regards to, um, um, okay, I can't do it while they're laughing, so we might pause from time to time. But basically, um, Steinman, uh, is kind of like expecting to be paid for the services and stuff um and that andrew ryan is like well you work to get money and like you know use that to pay for what you want you don't have to worry about all this stuff but like he's like we're we're not just doing this as a way for you to be kind of like expecting for free things um and all that and not work for it kind of deal so, like, that's kind of what they're trying to accomplish in this utopia, is that you keep what you get for what you work for, but don't expect, like, free stuff in the process as well. Like, you have to pay for what you want, and you also have to earn 
it into a sense, but also you keep what you earn because we're not going to take away what you work for. So it's kind of weird altogether. Um into a sense. And that's what uh Andrew Ryan's talking about is like there's two sides to it and like trying to find a happy medium. There's nothing in here. There's nothing over here. Um, and this is set in 1960s, so they did a really cool job of like making it different. But also, um, not too over the top. You call that tenderloin? If you... All right. Do this. Alright, dollars. Nope. We're trying to quit the bad habit. Okay. What we're gonna do is pick up a love for science diary and listen to it. So, this, uh, ten of them is going to be an important character for not just this game, but for the following game, too. Um, and to kind of, like, just add some context for her, uh, she is a very good doctor. Um, very smart, very intelligent. And one of the things that she mentioned in that diary was, like, German doctor. And being in the camps. Um, that is because Tenebum is a survivor um, from the First World War. Because uh, this is set like a few years after World War One, So um, it's kind of crazy. Or maybe World War Two. I can't remember which. But um, one of the wars. And her love of science, I think, in a way saved her, but also made her, like, in a way, like, it would have been dangerous for her to know too much, so... Alrighty, so, we're gonna continue, um, what we're gonna try to do, just because I remember that I didn't explain it at the beginning. Um, we're going to go to each specific area and get that area accomplished. Um, so we're not going to like, because once you get the Inferno thing and head downstairs to like Dental, you can get into um, Steinman's surgery area, which is where you need to go to face and confront Steinman. Um, and we'll probably do that in part two. Um, but basically, we're going to try. Oh, we're going to also save. We're saving over these because um, when I stopped, it was at um, the dental area right before you got your next weapon, which is going to be the shotgun. Um, no, I want to crouch. So we're just kind of packing all the stuff that's up here.
protected. Splicers. But am I really sorry? No. I'm gonna carry the French. Alright, we're gonna listen to this one. Yeah, I still don't trust Steinman. But what we're gonna do is go into the crematorium and also the funeral homes area before we go anywhere else. Just because it is gonna be important. But one of the things I like to do is before I expand from the starter area. We're gonna hack this really quick, and then I'll explain. But what I like to do is I like to hack every hackable area or thing just because it gives you extra practice and benefits um, and stuff. Of course, she had nothing. Alright. Ooh. Man, this is stressful. We're gonna hack this vending machine too, but I like to collect everything before I venture out. And then we're going to listen to this because we've already been doing it, but uh, Andrew Ryan can't tell us what to do. Welcome. We're free. Free. <laughs> it has been brought to my attention that some citizens have discovered ways to hack the vending machine not need to remind each and every citizen of Rapture that free enterprise is the foundation upon which our society has been established. Parasites will be punished. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be that guy. But the realism that they've done for this game is just astounding. Kind of makes me a little nervous. Alright, we can't go that way. But before we go towards the crematorium, um, 
as you can see, there is going to be like a lot of this. So oops, hang on, let's grab this and listen to it. Rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you to thank. Sheesh, that guy does not like him. But I always like to go through here and grab stuff because you can grab it um, and not have to worry about doing it later. Oh, I didn't want to grab that. Why do I grab stuff I don't need to grab? And you can't pick what to grab, so... Chaos. Gotta love it. Now, we can hack this. And sometimes after you hack something... Sorry, I get razor focused on the hacking system because it can be difficult sometimes. And sometimes you can get stuff out of vending machines, sometimes not too much. And prices do differ. But eventually you'll have to come down here. Nothing there, nothing there. Alright. We're gonna go up here again. We're gonna go to the pink. we're going to do is have this ready, but we're also going to electro shock. And that's a nitro spice. Yeah, spicer. Splicer. I can English. Alright, we're gonna use this. But we are gonna get a new plasmid once we get to our next spot. Coffee is a great way to gain EV. Um, I should know this because I love coffee. Um, I don't think there's anything else aside from the register and stuff, but now we're going to listen to Steinman again because he's talking about Picasso. Yeah, I don't. Now, in this area, we have to be careful because there is a camera. But this is a way that's going to be needing to be remembered as you head over this way. Alright. 
um, and just have to be careful of the camera. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to hack. We're gonna auto hack. But this camera is gonna be on our side, and we don't have to worry about running around it. Um, your electrobolt is gonna be helpful in that fact. But now we have physical tonics. Now there are four types of tonics that you can equip, um, and there is a max cap for each one. Uh, this first one I would recommend if you um, hack a lot in the game and you are needing healing because this uh, perk will help with that. Because basically what it does is it converts your body, the altered current from um, the hacked machine into a powerful healing agent and you will heal depending on if you have any health loss. So um, you have picked up your first physical tonic. Physical tonics make you stronger or more powerful. They are equipped separately from plasmids and other types of tonics. So now, every time you hack something, you gain a little health and E, which is really good. And we can kind of, like I said, explore a little um, without worry. And the little camera will be our... And before we begin, just make sure to look around this area right here, as this will be important for your new plasmid that you'll get. Um, we're going to look over this way, because we want to make sure we don't miss anything um, before this next and upcoming part. Um, like I said, it will be randomly generated differently based on um, your... Uh, difficulty and playthrough. Um, each playthrough is always different. Uh, we're not going to grab the incinerate just yet. Now we are going to. So plasmid. So we want to keep the incinerate plasmid. Ages 12 and up. Oh geez. Um, so yeah. It will set objects on fire. Um, trusting 12 year olds or, or older with this. Is kind of a terrifying thought. Not going to lie. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning. Fire. So we can choose between our plasmids now. But the other thing I wanted to mention because of um, our lovely uh, Andrew or Ryan Industries is they will have a little commercial for each plasmid. Um, I don't think they did it for the Electro Bolt, but they did it for a few others. That's kind of another thing that... Um, you can't skip through it, so you just have to endure it. And we're just letting the fire take care of it. So now we get to go down these stairs because we don't have to go back the other way. And we are out of here. Out of these. Out of Rama. Ciao, Arrivederci. Um, I think I saw something. Ooh.
we're just gonna set that on fire, go take care of whatever this is. Switch to the wrench. We're not going to worry about going to the surgical area just yet, um, which is where we need to go, but we don't need to immediately go there. But I think this is going to be our stopping point. I know it's not as far as I would like, but um, I had to uh kind of redo this so we're gonna save it here but we'll be back here next time um we'll be facing off Steinman. we'll be finishing off with the twilight area and all that good jazz so with that said i hope you guys enjoyed part one of two for the medical pavilion and i will catch you guys tomorrow as we finish this area up and get ready to go into the next area which is going to be neptune's bounty as always, stay safe, stay healthy, stay amazingly awesome, and I will catch you guys in the next video.